tonight, an encampment in Minneapolis going up in flames this afternoon. At least two people were injured, left that area covered in ash and debris. The views from Sky Fox showing the aftermath of the fire. Dozens of tents and yurts stood there this morning. Now just charred remains. Uh, Rob Olson joining us live after visiting that scene. Rob, you talked to some witnesses and city officials as well. What did they have to say? Well, the injuries that you mentioned, two minor injuries, one uh, a minor burn to a hand, the other one some smoke inhalation, both treated at the scene. But uh, the city officials say obviously this could have been much, much worse had more people been there at the time. This happened just afternoon, so there were fewer people there. But that encampment, as you can see in the video, is completely leveled. This moved very quickly, and had it been, again, different conditions, different time of day, more people could have been there, could have spread more easily. Uh, this was something that could have turned out much, much worse than it did. There's propane tanks in there. There's propane tanks in there. This is the first few minutes after the fire erupted. You can hear explosions, and you can hear the panic and the fear. Is anybody in here? Is anybody in here? The video taken by independent indigenous journalist John Gonzalez, who'd been at the camp doing interviews for his Standing Bear Network Facebook page. It was probably the hardest one of the hardest experiences of my life. When we spoke to him, it was only about 90 minutes after the fire had begun at the Ninukasi camp, which housed about 50 to 60 people on an empty lot on East 28th Street. It was now nothing but debris, charred propane tanks throughout in what had been a tightly packed camp of yurts. Each and every yurt had a a fireplace, you know, which is basically a hole cut, you know, with maybe some aluminum or metal uh, protected from the heat. In other videos provided to Fox 9, you can hear what the Minneapolis fire chief tells me are likely those propane tanks bursting from the heat. He says with different weather or even a different time of day, this fast moving fire could have easily spread to neighbors or very easily been fatal. Winds would have complicated the situation. Even if this would have happened uh, in the middle of the night, I think we could have had a very different outcome. So, Is the city, the county, and their nonprofit partners now help those who lived here? They stress the important work continues to get people in stable subsidized housing or into addiction treatment because this situation is exactly why they keep closing camps like this. Homeless encampments of this significant size are not safe. They're not safe. Now, an organizer at the camp tells Fox 9 late today that if the city wants to do more, well, more needs to be done, they say, to get more subsidized housing for people, that there simply has not been enough. Now, there used to be, uh, you know, more than 100 people in some of these camps. Again, this was down to about 50 or 60. It's for the camp itself. Uh, it's being fenced off. Uh, the debris will be removed tomorrow. Uh, the city says they need to do some soil testing there as well. There's some minor damage on buildings around it. But again, in the end, only two minor injuries that were treated at the scene. Live in Minneapolis, Rob Olson, Fox 9. All right. Thanks, Rob.